Hello everyone, you may be familiar with this look just because a few days ago I posted a trailer for this makeup and it seems you guys like it so much so I can't wait to share with you the whole tutorial on how I created this look so let's right jump into it before we continue, you know how much I like to share which contact lenses I'm using for that day for the certain makeup look that I'm creating and today I am wearing from DTLI Polar Light Brown contact lenses and full in-depth review of this Polar Light series lenses will be published on my YouTube channel soon. Before I applied any eyeshadows, I primed my eyelids as always. Today I used mixture of Pillow's bases in number 0 and 3 as well. And the first shade that I'm using is Nuke shade from Carnival Palette going right into my crease. You can see how I switch between brushes. So to apply this eyeshadow, I use bullet brush and then for blending it, I used a smaller blending brush. And then to work with edges, I used again blending brush, but this one was clean brush without any product. Now to diffuse these edges even more and to put some more color, I'm using NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette and this orangey yellow color, mixing it with our previous shade. And now you can see how we have in between color, like we have a different transition. So basically we've achieved our third color here. Next, I'm working with this mood color from, again, from Carnival Palette. When you're applying this color, just make sure that you do leave some space for this green color to peek through. You don't want to close this all green colors. And as I already created my shape, um, I do know where to blend. So I already have my guideline. I did went through a couple of times with this blue color just to grab that pigment as much as I can. Now, yeah, if you're watching my videos, you would know that at a certain point of time, there will be uh, Inglot's MC Joe Eyeliner in number 77. And today I decided to mix it with a little bit, just with tiny drop of Inglot's Duraline. It is going to be a bit easier to work with edges by mixing a little bit of Duraline with this liner. And on top of our base, today's main pigment is from Tami Tanuka. This one is from Chromatic Series Pacification. And for inner corner, I used again from Chromatic Series Color Invasion. Now, all of these are beautiful multichromes. And what I did forget to capture here was that I added some NYX glitter primer before I applied these multichromes. And once my multichrome was on my eyelid, I went back to my eyeshadows and just work with this deep blue and added a little bit of colors as I needed. For my lower lash line, applying base first. Then I switched back to my eyelid and just went back with eyeliner to darken a little bit of edges because I wanted my edge to be really dark. Then I went with Nuke Shade from Carnival Palette, smudged that on two thirds of my eyelid. For a little bit lighter transition, I used this shade from NYX Ultimate Palette. I thought this color would combine really well with lower part of my eye. Then I've used the same orangey and deep blue color, same colors from, um, from the eyelid that I've used before. I just went back and forth, just adding color as I needed. Finishing my look with matte black eyeshadow, focusing that eyeshadow on the edges and connecting that with everything that we have. Now, when you want to have different colors within your bottom and upper waterline, then it is really important to use one color at a time and they both need to be waterproof. Otherwise, they're going to mix together and they won't look good. So if you want to achieve that difference in a color, use waterproof product, wait a little bit, and then you can go on to the next color. For my eyelashes today, I'm curling them before anything and then I went with Catrice Waterproof Glam and Doll Mascara. For today's eyelashes, I'm using Ardell in Style 421. And then I took a little bit, a little piece and added it to my end of the eyelashes just to make a thicker eyelashes at the end. 
Usually first I would do my upper waterline and then if anything transfers on my bottom one, I will wipe it off and go with the color that I want for my lower waterline. For my bottom waterline, I'm using Nitro Color from P. Louise Paints. This one is from Acid Ring Collection. And today, purposely, I wanted to leave lower lash line just being matte. And I use Pillow Talk Light Shade to lighten up inner corner. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I want to say I'm so grateful for you that are supporting my channel. Let me know in the comment section down below how you like this type of looks and what would you like to see in my next one and i will see you in my next video guys bye